Hello, welcome back to lesson two in our responsive design with bootstrap section in Free Code Camp. This lesson is make images mobile responsive. I'm not sure if you guys uh, seen that HTML and CSS section videos I did, but in the wrap up, in the wrap up video, we uh, added an image to our site, and uh, we didn't actually make a responsive. So this is actually really important that way, even if you have like a really high quality, huge image, it will adjust to regardless of what device you're using. So it tells us first add a new image below the existing one. Set its source attribute to this link. It would be great if this image could be exactly the width of our phone's screen. Fortunately, with Bootstrap, all we need to do is add the image responsive class to your image. Do this and the image should perfectly fit the width of your page. So you should have a total of two images. So let's go down here to our image. First one is right here. Uh, so when we put our div around everything, I put it all the way from the top, but they put it down here where the body actually starts. Okay, so I should have a total of two images. Where's the first one? Right here. The first one's inside this anchor tag, so this whole image is actually clickable. They want us to add a new um, image should be below your old one and have the class image responsive so we just do image they want us to give it a source of and then they tell us the link right here so just copy that and then go here make sure we erase that period okay so now so now it loaded this image and as you can see it kind of like it's really big so when we added the image responsive class and close that okay so we need to add that source we need to give it a class of image responsive so we can go ahead and add that Oop, wrong one here we would just do class of image responsive so it's just IMG so as you can see it now fits on our page and this is all done through bootstrap so that should be for this lesson. We have two images. New one should be below the old one. Your new image should have a source that source. Make sure your image element has a closing tag. Did I put one? Yep, it's right there. So we're good for this one.